I really hope the algorithm picks this up. So go ahead and comment down below and share this because I think resolution, in my opinion, is probably the most important thing when it comes to the specs of your entire computer. That's right, talking like this is more important than graphics card. This is more important than your motherboard or your CPU or your RAM. The resolution is what connects you to the content, the games, the websites, it's where it's what you look at with your eyeballs. It's so important. It's more important than even the audio equipment. And that's saying something because I make music, but I need to be able to see it and I need to be able to see it fully. And over the years, I've tried so many different resolutions. I'm going to tell you a few stories about some of the resolutions that I've had in the past. And then I'm going to tell you about the perfect resolution for me and maybe also for you. But it comes in a certain size and form factor that's really, really just spot on. So that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Thanks to WhoKeys for sponsoring this video. You can get 25% off Windows and Office with coupon code TS25. So they've got Windows 10 Pro, they've got Home, you've got Windows 11, Office 2021, 2019, and this is the one I use, 2016, because it still works very well. Putting in coupon code TS25, click apply, and then watch these prices come down. Wonderful. Once you're finished, all you have to do is click on your user account up here, go to your user center, click on my purchase orders, and then you'll see everything you've purchased right there. Just view keys and codes, and you can just copy and paste your key, hit start, type activate, click on activation settings, paste it in there, click on next, and you will be activated. You know, I never liked how Microsoft has different prices for different people. If you're a home user, you're going to pay 10 times more than an OEM builder or a corporation or something like that. And that's why I like heading to places like whokeys.com to get the OEM keys so I can pay a price that makes sense. So thanks to them for sponsoring and now to our regularly scheduled program. You know, I didn't really think about it much, but over the years of using tons and tons and tons of different monitors, I sort of started to pick my favorites. And I realized something just recently when I was looking around my room, I was like, hey, so I've got like five monitors over in this corner because I'm a lunatic and none of them are 16 by nine, not one of them. So I've got a four by three monitor on the right and that is a CRT that goes 1920 by 1440. So it's a nice 1920 wide, but you have extra pixels on the top and bottom. So it's four by three instead of 16 by nine, but at a nice high resolution in a 21 inch screen. I love it. And then you move over to the left and that is a very strange monitor from Dell, a huge old monitor that doesn't have very good color, but it's 2560 by 1600, not 1440. So it's 16 by 10, giving you extra vertical real estate. The monitor in the middle, that's the focus of this video. So we're just gonna sneak on past that one and look at the little Lenovo monitor on the right. I got it because it's an IPS monitor. It's a vertical display, but I wanted it to be a little bit wider so I could see a little bit more with my PDFs and whatnot. And this one is running at 1920 by 1200, also 16 by 10, just because I like the extra little bit of real estate. And then beside that, I've got a Sony Trinitron, which is 27 inch, 240p. Runs also at four by three, or if you're playing Super Nintendo, I think it's like five by four or something stupid like that. It, so anyway, now let's get to the, the middle, the centerpiece of my digital life. And that is the Alienware 38 inch ultra wide, AW3821DW. Maybe overpriced, but it's it's got a lot of nice features. It's 3840, so 4K wide, but 1600 tall. Now that's not 21 by nine, it's an ultra wide, but it's not as ultra wide as the 21 by nine, which would be 3840 by 1440. This is 3840 by 1600, giving you just a little bit more digital real estate on the top and bottom of your screen. Now, I can hear people already screaming, why don't you just go full 4K? Why are you, this is just 4K with a piece chopped off. Well, let me, let me explain this. So I've had full 4K on my desk and with the small monitor, it doesn't work out. The reason being, when you're running a small 4K monitor, you have to turn on resolution scaling or else everything's just so small, you cannot see what's going on. The fonts are too small, the menus are too small. You cannot use it, it's not usable. In games, you can. It looks great in games. I mean, I have no problem with that, but I do a lot of productivity and when I'm gaming, a lot of times I'm on one of my four by three screens. So it's kind of a no-go. If I want 4K and I want all of the benefits of 4K, I need a really big monitor like my 40 inch 4K that I used to have, which I still love. I've got a Wasabi Mango and I forgot what the other brand is, but I have a couple of the Korean 4K 40 inch monitors. I love them. I've still got one. It's a beautiful display, IPS. It's in my exercise room and it's there so I can watch 4K stuff while I'm on the treadmill. 
But the problem with having that on my desktop is a big 40 inch screen, a couple of feet away from your face, two to three feet, depending on where you're sitting. You're so close that when you're playing games, if you're playing them at full screen, you have to like move your head way too much. So I'm constantly like looking around and I get disoriented. And especially if I'm playing like a game where I'm looking from the perspective of the character, like a first person shooter or even like a third person shooter, it's hard to tell what's going on because there's just, it's such a big screen. It's, it's my brain doesn't connect where the center of the screen is as well. I don't aim as well. And I'm just, I don't, I don't do very well with a screen like that. Now, if I was to maybe put it on the wall and, and sit back as far as like a couch, it would be great. But then I would argue, why not just go 1080 because it's the same, you know, size 16 by nine. So it's not like you're getting too much of a benefit there. And when you're sitting on the couch, your eyes and stuff, they're not really gonna see too many of the extra details. Maybe a little bit, but it's not worth the frame rate hit. So 40 inch 4K is great for productivity, but when it comes to gaming, it's a no-go. So that kind of eliminates it because I wanna be able to game on my main monitor. So if you're only doing productivity, stop here. 40 inch 4K is beautiful. And the only thing I can think of that would be better than that for productivity might be one of the 5K, 2K monitors if you've got something that can drive it. And those are ridiculous because they're like 51 something by, I don't know, they're by 21, whatever. They're a very niche monitor. Not a lot of people have them, but just look up 5K, 2K if you want like the craziest, they're ultra wides, but they're like just a crazy amount of resolution. They would be good for a lot of different things, but mostly for productivity. Now let's move down to the 3840 by 1600. 21 by 10, not 21 by nine. And that makes a huge difference for me because it gives me a little bit more real estate to see stuff on the top and bottom of my screen. And at this size, this is a 30 in, 38 inch screen, but a 38 inch ultra wide, remember they're measured diagonally, diagonally. So it's not overwhelmingly huge. And since it's a widescreen monitor, I can tell what's going on. The top and the bottom are, are brought in a little bit, focusing me to the center. So when I'm playing games, I can see exactly what's happening. Now, what's the benefit of this over 21 by nine? And that should be obvious. You've got 21 by nine, which would be 3840 by 1440. And you just get a little bit of extra space on the top and bottom. You know, 21 by nine, beautiful for gaming. But this one sort of is the perfect middle ground for me because you don't have to turn on any scaling. So you get the full benefit of all of the extra pixels. And I can actually see more stuff on this 3840 by 1600 screen than I could on a similarly sized 4K screen if I have scaling turned on. So scaling completely destroys the argument for 4K in my opinion. Um, you have to use 4K without scaling, but it's too big again. So this one, I can see all my bars and whatnot. Now there are some other ultra wide resolutions, which are cool. Like I had a 32 uh, by nine screen. I believe it was 32 by nine screen for a while. It's basically two 27 inch 1440p screens smacked together like 5120 by 1440. That one was cool for gaming, but I really wanted that extra space. It felt like everything was just, I don't know. I really like the extra desktop real estate. The 1600 pixels makes a big difference for me and I don't, you know, I found that I never really needed to have two 16 by nine screens side by side. I usually like to have a 16 by nine screen and then some other stuff on the side. I like to see my content that I'm working on or editing or watching a video or whatever, 16 by nine, and you can like, you know, snap it to a window that's 16 by nine on your screen and then still have room for some menus or some websites or whatever else you want to put on your screen. So if you're just doing a one screen solution, I like it. I mean, I prefer to always have multiple screens because that's how I, I've gotten used to doing things. But it's it's beautiful for one screen solutions to have some productivity going on. And, and then when it comes to productivity, like you're in Premiere or you're in your editing program, you have so much room for menus on the sides and you can focus on the content in the middle and just pretend it's kind of like a 16 by nine screen in the middle and then some extra stuff on the sides or now when it comes to playing games as well. I really like ultra wide monitors when it comes to playing games where you view in first person or from a perspective uh, that you, I don't know, there's a few different perspectives that you need like ultra wide. Some side scrollers as well, if the side scroller is mostly focused on left and right and they just kind of forget about the whole vertical element, Yes, ultra wides are good, but you know, in the side scrollers where you can go up and down and sideways in all these different directions, just having a four by three screen is probably the best. And then when it comes to most first person shooters, I do like ultra wide monitors. They're immersive. They give you that sort of wraparound feel if you're sitting at a distance where you don't see too much of the, the room above and, and, and below your screen, you can focus on it, really be immersed. 
uh, and, and feel more like you're there. So I do like ultra wides for that a lot. Um, even games like Doom look beautiful on this screen, but I end up playing it on the CRT for one reason. <sighs> CRTs are just so much better in motion. So that's the other, that's the other drawback. This screen is an IPS. It's not uh, an OLED. An OLED would have better motion. It has much better gray to gray, but this one is an IPS. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Uh, Alienware, Dell, LG, any other manufacturer, Samsung, we want, well, I'm speaking for myself, but hopefully other people out there, we want resolutions that are not just 16 by nine and not just ultra wide. Give us those extra pixels on the top and bottom and we'll love you. 3840 by 1600 is a beautiful resolution. Can we have that in OLED, please? For, you know, at least 120 hertz. This one's 144 hertz. But again, the CRT is buttery smooth at 95 hertz, way smoother than this one is at 144. It looks way smoother. So an OLED would be a nice step, a nice step to having like the perfect monitor. Can we please have this exact same package? That's fine. The same size with this pixel count and OLED. And please don't make it a billion dollars. That'd be awful. Let me know what you think about this video. I think it's important to think about these things. You look at this, it's so expensive. So yeah. All right, so let me know what you think. What resolution are you running? Are you curious about the 21 by 10 resolutions, 16 by 10 resolutions? Do you think that those should make a comeback? Should we start pressuring the vendors? Comment, like the video, because we need to get stuff like this out there instead of just talking about the newest graphics card every 10 seconds. Let's talk about things that matter a lot to our everyday use of our devices, like the resolutions that we view things with and all that. One last thing, I'm, I'm gonna leave this sale on for a little while, but our mice are on sale. All right here, this, ooh, hi, it's me. I'll have both of our mice on sale. This one has the 3310 sensor. The other one has the 3360 sensor. Both are flawless and beautiful. And you can get these half price right now on Epic Pants with the coupon code Happy Mice. So head over to epicpants.com, take advantage of that, and, uh, I'll see you in the comments.